This is not going to be a particularly complicated video. As you can see, I have some Angus beef kebab here, aka shish kebab. This is my dinner tonight, and I'm going to cook it on my printer. If you've ever seen the YouTube channel CNC Kitchen, then you might have seen him sous vide cooking uh, meat on his printer, as I am doing. I just set the bed temperature to 75 degrees, and that's going to heat up some. Um, I do need to add an insulating layer on top of this, so I'm going to go get some rags, uh, or, well, large hand towels, and insulate this over the top to keep in the heat, and a layer of aluminum foil between that to act as a reflector, so in about an hour and a half, my kebab should be done. So I didn't really have any hand towels I could use or, or anything like that, but I did have a couple old white t-shirts from my, this is now a rag box, um, basically where I just put my old t-shirts that are uh, ill-fitting or they have stains on them or whatever else. But I just took these out of my, this is now a rag box, and they are insulating my sous vide 3D printer. <clears throat> And there's a layer of aluminum foil underneath there to trap in that heat. And then these are added, adding an insulating layer and uh, some pressure to just kind of, not a whole lot of weight, but just a little bit of weight to kind of keep that down. So, we're at 75 degrees. I'm going to let this cook for about an hour and a half. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I kind of overcooked it a little bit. Um, I ended up taking a nap waiting on it to cook. And... Yeah, took a little too long, but it cooked. Let's have a taste. Alright, let's see how it tastes. Wow. This probably has to do with uh, how long it was cooking. But the meat is just falling apart when I chew it. Hmm. I say this was a good idea. Got some uh, two hearted ale from uh, Bell's Brewery, in Comstock, Michigan. Very good. Very good. So, yeah, um, sous vide cooking on your 3D printer's heat bed. Um, full disclosure, it is about a quarter to two in the morning, I fell asleep pretty hard on my couch waiting for this to uh, to cook. Um, so it ended up spending about five hours on my printer <laughs> instead of an hour and a half. Hey everybody, just a quick little follow-up here. Um, I'm not going to put this at every in every video like a lot of people do because I don't think it's that important. I'm not trying to whore out myself on YouTube or anything. Pardon the language. But I do have a Patreon. If you guys want to support me through there, that'd be great. If you don't, okay, I get it. I really do. Um, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that nonsense. I mean, I, I never understood that anyway. If you like the video, you're going to like it. If you want to tell your friends about it, you're going to share it. And if you want to see more of my videos, you're going to subscribe anyway. So why am I reminding you to do that? So I'm not going to be saying this in every video. I just kind of wanted a little filler in there for watch time. So thank you very much for watching. I am going to thank you guys for watching every single time because I really do appreciate it. This is a weird thing for me to do. I don't have a grill. I couldn't cook shish kebab that way, so I decided, eh, I'm going to sous vide it on my printer. And it worked out okay.
So thanks guys for watching. Thanks for joining me for dinner and a beer, even though it's pretty much 2 a.m. now. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.